Hello and welcome to another episode of Games with Zane. We are playing Europa Universalis for the Third Rome. So this update is all about Russia. So why don't we go ahead and select the Russia of Russia's Muscovy. Now I've never played in Russia. Uh, never played anything east of the Holy Roman Empire. Unless we start talking about some Far East Asia. But, uh, yeah, we're going to give Muscovy a go and see how that goes for us. Let's turn Iron Man mode on. And Russia. All right, I know that there have been major changes to the way that Orthodox Church works, and there have been changes to uh, colonization for Russia, especially for Siberia. Beyond that, I am fairly new to what is going on as well. So let's take a look at our situation, our, our missions. Conquer Novgorod. Well, that sounds lovely. Oh, yeah. Improve relations. I'm assuming we got here. We have subjects. We have plenty of subjects. And we have max population. Diplomatic relation slots. So where are they? I would like to see where these are. So there's one. Yaroslav. Uh, Rostov. Peskov, Perm, Perm is a vassal, okay, and Belarus, Belozero, hmm, uh, so who is not Ryzan, let's, let's take a look at our, there we go, Ryzan, it's not, they are not, interesting, so I definitely think, uh, taking Novgorod. It's a great. And Novgorod is right there. So yeah, we could do that, like right now. And I think. So let's say it's so Denmark, Lithuania, and Novgorod are our enemies. We definitely want to go with Novgorod. That's just a no-brainer. Uh and who's next? We kind of want to expand in areas. The Great Horde and Kazan also seem like traditional enemies. Uh, going with Lithuania could be interesting if we could do that before the Union happens. So who, who do we think? Uh, Let's go with Kazan for our spreading to the east. And let's go with Lithuania. Okay. Now, we don't make that much money. We have two diplomat spots. Let's take a look real quick at the religion. We have no authority. What's this? Select an icon. Uh, but we cannot do that until we have patriarch authority. Let's see what these do. So we've got manpower, recovery speed, and discipline. So, yeah, Michael, the archangels. That, that's military. That makes sense. Uh, we've got national unrest and harsh treatment cost is reduced. So that one is for uh, rebellion. We've got this one that appears to be for, so I mean, that's for building your provinces. Then we've got a kind of St. Nicholas that is for diplomacy. In particular, aggressive expansion. Mm, and then we've got this one that is about institution. It's all right. Here's how do we gain authority. Uh, 
You get no modifiers. So, patriarch authority represents the level of influence that the Orthodox Church has on a nation. In Orthodox provinces, high patriarch authority will decrease lo local unrest and increase the number of recruits joining the army, but it will come at the cost of partially diverting local taxes to the church. You can consecrate a metropolitan of a state to get five authority. Okay. Uh, so we got a ways on that. So, well, okay, right there. Metropolitan, what, what, do, what do these mean? The state could get a metropolitan. Does that mean they have one or? I don't know, where is Muscovy? How do we turn it into a metropolitan? Could get a metropolitan. Where would that be? Look at the state. You need to consecrate metropolitan. So what is, you can then states with 30 development of all provinces or orthodox and of an accepted culture. Increase state maintenance, lower devastation, but we get the patriarch authority. Well, let's see, we've got eight, three, four. That's probably good for now. We are careful and increase spy network creation. Those are good things. So we have max diplo spots. So why don't we go ahead and begin for actions building a spy network in Novgorod and why not go ahead in Lithuania as well. So I guess let's get this show on the road, increase the speed, and there we go. So I do think that very soon we are going to want to declare on Novgorod. Because we have, what is that, a core? Yeah. Is that abandoned core? Interesting. And let's look at culture. So, okay, all of that is considered Russian. That's too bad. That is a lot that is considered Russian. Uh, Rostov, sure. You're a vassal. can now build a fort. It's all right. So we take those two, I think, let's take a look at what we could claim. That one's a much better province, tax-wise. It's even better, but we couldn't get it. Clom. Oh, what is this? I have a claim here, and here, and here, and there, and whoa, how did I get all these claims? Well, I should just go ahead and do this. No need to fabricate claims if I have claims everywhere. So let's go ahead and declare war. They have any allies? Just the one? I'm not really concerned about the one. How many men does Novgorov have? They have the fewest. So let's jump on that. Let's uh, let's pull them away from Novgorod. Let's go ahead and get a leader. Oh, we've got a leader. He's pretty good except for the siege. Have him come down. And this one come up. We'll go around the back way while our vassals 
hopefully, uh, let's tell our vassals to be aggressive and try to take his army out. What are the estates? We've got several estates. We've got the Cossacks, which is extra. Uh, this is interesting. They've got 50. 13%. No, no, it's 50 influence, 13% control provinces. That's about right. Those are acceptable. So, yeah. Let's declare on Novgorod. They have no other... We don't have a claim on it, but uh, we may as well attempt to just wipe them off the map. It would take it from Lithuania. So yeah, we'll declare war. We will call them a co-belligerent. And where would we like to capture? Uh, how about Novgorod? Because so that will do multiple things for us. So let's go for it. We are at war right away. Right out the gate. So, okay. Let's move you there. That'll be a squish. Leader trait gain. Very nice. Less attrition. That is always good. So let's move them back up. And say friendlies can attach to me. You. We will do a thing where we kind of snake around this area. They are moving on Skov. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably mispronounce all of this stuff because... I know very little about Russian. I know that the alphabet is based off Greek. That's that's really about it. I do have uh, better understandings of other languages, but definitely not Russian. So they are sieging down that one. That is a level 3 fort. Okay. And it kind of looks like everyone is going the route of... Uh, let's siege their weaker territories. So they only have, what, two forts? One there and Novgorod itself. Where are you going? We will attach a siege there. Lithuania started influence the nation of Livonia in order. Okay. How about you move there, maybe? How about you just stay put for a minute? You can detach. You can detach as well and just bring your men back there. Poland has, of course, gone for the Union. So they are no longer a rival. Let's look at us. Yeah. I wonder if we can add Poland as a rival. Our capturing things. Let's go ahead and move them all together there. We can detach and move up here. Continuing to get stuff all day. Can't tell where. Okay. Let's bring everybody here. 
forward and we will do a detach siege and move that one up there so that we are basically right, that one's still going on got more territory we should probably wait for everyone to consolidate there and then we will go to Kex home if someone else isn't already attempting to siege it. All right, let's catch up. Let's move them down. And it is starting to look like we will siege down Novgorod before they can, and we will have basically captured all of their territory long before they could do anything. Let's look at everyone. They already have men there. Mm. Let's deselect you and have everyone move down to here. They've gained a few men, but that also means they are taking larger attrition. We have taken most of this without suffering a whole lot. I don't remember exactly what we started at, but it was still in the teens. It was low teens. You? Where are they going? Neva? They are going there, so why don't you do that? We have a free diplomat. What do we do with him? Kazan was our next rival, so why don't we... They are allied with the Timurids. A little spy network there. Just be doing something. Uh, down there is done, yay! So let me go there. And we will take you guys and move here. Duh. Can we talk to them? Go ahead and start getting that taken care of. They're not fond of that. They'll change their mind shortly. Now they're willing to do the peace. No, we are just going to go ahead and take your territory. No? You're still not digging that? Okay. There is that. We can't get around. Oh, they also have one more. Fort that could be sieged down. I don't know if being that close is smart. Why don't we consolidate together? But Novgorod is finished, so that is helpful. And we are getting close to needing to help them out. Ryzan has declared war on them, but it's not really going to help you. Because I'm going to take it. Okay, they are merged together. Ooh, and right there I saw it tick to, to 8 from 9. So now, let's merge them together and attach friendlies in this situation. They're probably going to get at this tick. Just because it's the AI. They did not. Let's merge up and go and attack. Drive them off the territory. Let's talk to them again. They have got to want to give up. Yeah, and I can get a touch more money.
Not much, but just enough. It's all right, we've lost 12,000 men in this. Trade lead disbanded. We will core the province. Let's look at our cultures real quick. Only Muscovite. That's it. What is this? You need a hundred power gathered to reform Subednik. You have twelve. So impact autonomy. All right, so how are we gaining these? You gain six. Oh, so these are my monarch points, it looks like. And they do things. So let's see. Increase our stability cost. This will impact war exhaustion by negative two and raise six regiments in our capital. So increase our stability cost by a fair amount. Support Opreach Nina. Opreach Nina. Uh, this will impact progress for all rebel factions. Well, that's, that's useful. Okay. So now we will attack them. We have many more. And even more coming. Look at that, a stack wipe. I've become one of the great powers. So let's, uh, you guys can come off of that. We will attach siege. What is that? Because there shouldn't be anyone needed to siege there. Uh, it's two, we want six left over. There we go. Select them, and they can move there. And we we'll probably need to split in half and move one of them there to help with attrition. Let's talk to them. They probably won't let me take most things just because I don't have that. So let's see. They would. Let's go here. And definitely go for the coast just because that's where the center of trade is. And uh, we can come up this way. Forms a coalition with Novgorod and Trafir. That's them. Uh, that won't work. So I guess let's take money. I don't like that, and we should probably prefer war reps because they will be around for a minute all right we take 60 gold and take war reps and they will come around shortly I'm sure of it well I've got no siege power so I will let my vassals take care of that and simply recover myself so they're willing to talk. They will see many things, pay money. Uh, we will decline because we want more of it than what you're offering. So how many men do I need to recover my army? Just four. Well, that's nice. So all right, let's try this again. They are now willing to accept that. And so we're going to take all of this area. That kind of separates them from others. So that no one else can claim their territories. We will probably, uh, next war, snake up this way. Just so Sweden can't have anything else. Uh, that will cost us 260, which we don't quite have yet. It's alright, we'll get there. Very good. Lost the Cassie Spell Eye to humiliate them. So let's see who we can rival now. 
Denmark, Poland. The Great Horde sounds good. Moving south. Be useful. My corruption is growing, I expect that. So let's uh let's get these down. I think where's Novgorod? Novgorod first. Then let's just go by cost. Yeah. This cost is relative to the amount of overextension. Okay. And why don't we go ahead and... So they are not a vassal. They're also not a vassal. We should probably... try to increase our opinions with our smallest vassals so that we can annex them and get more vassals. Influence actions... Uh, it will take a few more years, but I guess that's something that we could begin doing is improving relations with, uh, let's do Rostov first because that will, they're the smallest, they'll be the easiest to integrate. No, I don't want to do spy actions, I, let's, alright, let's open everything up so that we don't do stupid things like that again. Improve relations is what we want. Uh, Novgorod is no longer considered a rival. We eclipse them. Monetary reforms. Lose one inflation. I guess we will gain the inflation since we don't have any. We will improve relations with them. And what is our money really like? It's not bad. We can reduce our maintenance and make more. Just have a stockpile of money right out the bat. We have a revolt. There. Especially since we just decreased our maintenance. Uh, and honestly, only one of these is needed to deal with it. Sit on Novgorod. And we can begin coring one of those. Is it an attack? Except we are the attacker. Very nice. Let's bring it back to uh, like right there. Let's look at our rebellions. So a few. It's okay. We will bring this down and basically one more tick we will be able to start coring the last one and everything will be right as rain. One place. Got Novgorodian separatists, yeah. Now we can claim some territories from them. Let's go with the south. I think it just makes a nice even border. I like even borders. We'll probably go across. Uh, that looks like it's its own state, so we may work for the state and then go that way. Perm is rather large, have less of an opinion of me compared to others, and probably most likely to be the most rebellious. Perm is the most rebellious. So it's like we need to have one agent uh, taking care of relations. And one taking care of fabrication, just going through this. Anyway, I 
think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We will see you next time.